is a fact widely known that static frequency converters have revolutionized railway operation in several ways, namely by decoupling grids, controlling power flow, stabilizing voltage, reducing peak demand and harnessing braking energy. However, static frequency converters are a local solution in the point of common coupling. And that's why phasor measurement units are rapidly gaining ground. So let's talk about them today. Through the integration of phasor measurement units into the static frequency converter system, rail operators are no longer limited to control the static frequency converter at the point of common coupling. This helps rail operators gain visibility for as far as 50 to 60 kilometers, as proven in projects carried out in Australia and Czech Republic. A phasor measurement unit provides real-time access for both voltage and current measurement. It can measure magnitude and phase angle with a high precision timestamp. The data is then transmitted to the converter station where the static frequency converter adjusts active and reactive power accordingly. Overall, phasor measurement units are used to mitigate unwanted power flows between substations, enable remote power factor correction, minimize losses in the rail grid and run island rail grids synchronous with the main grid. In conclusion, Integrating phasor measurement units into the rail static frequency converter provides financial stability and system reliability. A smarter grid means better asset use and improved flexibility for operators and owners. Reducing downtime keeps commuters and freight transport operators happy too. Phasor measurement units are small devices by design, but they can make a big contribution to transforming rail technology. My name is Cosmin Bancianu, and I'm powering good for sustainable energy.